start with some opening comments. Well, uh, you, know, you were the beneficiaries of an exceptional goaltending performance by Matt Morris. And uh, the power play goal that we scored in the first period uh, obviously uh, gave us the opportunity to, um, you know, it's a little easier always playing with a lead. And uh, then we got some, some timely goals in the third period, made our shots count, and uh, that was that. What was Morris doing that was so effective tonight? Pardon? What was Morris doing that was so effective tonight? Well, um, he was uh, standing in front of the puck. <laughs> I mean, it sounds tongue in cheek. I mean, it's the truth. A goalie has to see the puck. He has to skate to where the shot's coming from. He has to be set when it comes, and then he's ready to make the save. It's no more complicated than that. People make it more complicated than that, but it's not. And he did an excellent job. He was seeing the puck. He was getting to his spots. He was getting set. Played great. Yeah. And when he had the battle, when he, you know, when there was some, uh, you know, some chaos in front of the net, then he let his competitiveness take over, and so he made saves in that in that way too. How proud were you guys? Where are you of your guys in the third period? It just seemed like you came out there and. You took it to him. Well, we've been talking to it for, uh, you know, to among ourselves for a long time about, <clears throat> you know, uh, just doing all the little things right, you know. And still in the third period, uh, I got a little heated a few times where, you know, uh, at a point when we had a 3 nothing lead, for example, we were just doing some things that were, you know, like not smart. And you know, the evolution of a hockey team is to um, finish out games, which we certainly, you, you know, we did tonight. We finish out the game by by continuing to attack and taking advantage of our scoring chances. And then, you know, you, you work at not giving the other team any opportunity at all to get back in the game by making good puck management decisions, et cetera, et cetera. What do you think your team did tonight that helped neutralize the UNH offense as opposed to the last couple of games? Um, I thought they had, you know, a fair number of real good chances, especially, to be honest with you, the first period I thought was our worst. And we gave up a bunch of odd man rushes, and we made some minor adjustments in what we were doing systemically. I mean, the game's a little different here on, uh, you know, Lake UNH. And... Uh, you know, and, and you know, we, we tend to press people and sometimes that's just not effective on a on a rink this this size, particularly you know, this wide. So we made some adjustments, but that's that's not why uh, we were we you know, we were successful, but that's why I think we played a little bit better in the second and third period. Um, Main goalie Matt Morris. This is uh is your fourth matchup uh, with New Hampshire this season, you know, blood boiling a little bit. Are, uh, are these two teams just sick of each other? Sick of each other? Well, <laughs> I imagine if if, uh, if I were on the losing end of the series, I'd be sick of, you know, the other team. You know what I mean? Um, these kinds of rivalries are good for the game. I mean, I had the opportunity to coach in pro hockey, and there was nothing like a you know, uh, a Stanley Cup or Calder Cup series, you know, where players knew each other and it was battles, mano a mano, and, you know, people had to get it done. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know how, how Coach Millie feels, but uh, I love playing UNH because, at least for Maine, so I'm never going to speak for the Wildcats, at least for the University of Maine, the UNH Wildcats are our biggest rival. And judging from the student section tonight here at, at uh, the Whittemore Center, it seems like the UNH fans love to hate the University of Maine Black Bears as well. Do you feel as though this team has turned a corner? I mean, you guys have had a pretty good run here in the last seven or so games. We've played well, but you know what? You're only as good as your last game. And so we're going to have a nice ride home. And then tomorrow we're going to practice. 
and I will return return to my Captain Bly form. I can assure you. <laughs> Matt, there was no easing into this game. They, they tested you right away. I mean, what did you have to do in that, in that first period to kind of withstand that barrage? Oh, you know, I just wanted to see the puck and make the first save for my teammates. But it's a team effort, and they were my defensemen, especially, were terrific in front of me. And any game against UNH is fun, so I was just excited to be part of it, and I'm um, even happier to get the win. Pretty physical game, though. You took a battering in there, and I saw you kind of bent over a few times. And I mean, was that part of it too? Just that? Oh well, yeah, we obviously we don't like each other, so I knew <laughs> what to expect. But you just gotta be tough and uh, stick with it. And then when your guys got you those third period goals, I mean, how important was that shutout? It looks like you had to kind of dig in there just to, to preserve that. Uh, goals are huge. I, I don't care about the shutout. I just care about the win. But the shutout is definitely a bonus. And uh, like I said, it's a, t a shutout's a team effort. I can't do it without my <laughs> Matt, that, that play that Downey scored on that was that turned out to be no goal. What, what happened on that play? From your uh, own I guess he made contact. Uh, I'll take the call, but I, I don't really see the replay, so I can't tell you. According, according to the official, um, Downing Skate hit Matt in while well, Matt was in the crease. And the rule is the goalie has to be allowed to play the puck. You can't interfere with him in any way, in any way when he's in the crease in particular. So that was the explanation that I received, and I assume that's the one they gave to Coach Humili as well. Even though it appeared Downing was carrying him? carrying the puck at the time or? You know, like he skated off the goal line extended mm -hmm. to the net front and then across it. <clears throat> and I think he hooked Matt's leg. I mean, I couldn't tell from where I am. I'm like you, I need those freaking things you got on your head right now from that. <laughs> so I don't know for sure. That was the explanation that was given to me by uh, referee Bunyan. So I don't, I have no way of knowing. Matt, was this your best game? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Any, anytime you get a win, is a great game. But yeah, I, don't, I just care about wins. Yeah. But how gratifying is to be able to contribute now in the way you have last Oh, uh, It's definitely important, especially on the road. Our record isn't where we want it to be right now, but this, these two wins are huge, and another road victory is even more important for us. How do you feel the team is coming together? You guys have put together a pretty good run. Yeah, that's I think we're playing better as a team, and I think that's the difference between now and earlier in the year. Everyone's chipping in and really working even harder. So I think that's a, those are two things that uh, contribute to our success. Final questions? All right. Thank you. Thanks.